Hello everybody, welcome back to the final match. We are on the play again. And we have a questionable hand. I think we sort of need to mulligan this on the play. I think it's just too weird. Like too speculative a speculative there's too much that can go wrong. This hand's much better. Doesn't really matter. So we're gonna Patch anyways. At the stomping ground. Let's hope our noble hierarch lives and then it's all good. If this noble hierarch dies, that's gonna be really bad news for this hand. But it's unlikely to die. Even the few decks that run bolt these days often want to like zero visions or discard on turn one, for example. We should be okay. There we go. And now we're safe. Although our hand's not that great against Affinity. Then I guess Affinity is sort of a bad matchup, at least game one. So we'll see how that goes. Next turn we can drop both of these guys. Potentially. There goes our knight, so we can't. That's unfortunate. Guess we just drop this. And get in for one, because why not? But yeah, this is not looking too promising right now. This looks so weird. No edge champion, please. Master of Ethereum is fine. We can pass that. That is acceptable. That's not a bad draw, I would say. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can't really use it right now, so we just have to do this and then sort of. Hmm. I mean, I honestly think we just have to because otherwise we take too much damage. Although I'm not happy about it. Because now we need to find something to turn this on. But yeah, this is a matchup where Seed of Fire or Lightning Bolt definitely shines. This is actually a pretty decent top deck. Back a seat of fire. Should have done that after combat because now our Tarmogoyf is shrinking. Then again, I think we have to kill this right now anyway. Don't think we can realistically beat a plating, but killing uh, the Vault Scourge right away reduces his clock by a turn and gives us a sh shot at actually racing. Thanks to the Kassik, among others. So yeah, we are not in that bad of a shape, actually. since his draw panned out kind of weak. No Edge Champion, no Ravager, no Plating definitely worked in our favor.
Any other problem is if we don't draw anything to either kill this or win on our turn. We're just gonna lose to Steel Overseer next turn because we can't kill him. He just jumps with this and then all we can deal is like 8 and then he goes to 2 and kills us on the backswing. Yep. So we need a removal. But if we find one, we're actually in good shape. Does that do enough? Can we take four or five in the air? I think this ooze might have been just enough to survive. Exact these basically. That was quite a sweet tactic. I mean, we could have drawn pass, seal, Kasali, Ooze. We had a bunch of outs. All right, let's see. We're just gonna attack with everything and see what happens. Kasik is our friend here. I mean, we get this to like 7, so 5. So yeah, he has to block all 3 and then he's not gonna die. And we have Kasali to kill whatever is left after combat, basically. And then he's gonna turn on the other Nexus. Regenerate probably the Overseer. Or the Nexus. Wait, he didn't activate the other Nexus. That's weird. Also, I think he blocked the wrong way around. Should rather just put the minus on one of the other guys. So we need like three. All right, so. And yeah, now we just won this game. <laughs> Makes no sense not to activate that other Nexus. Opponent's really not playing optimally there. Trying to save his Nexus. Right, we drop our Kasadi. Throw our ooze a bunch, cause why not? 
And then he just scoops. That works. Alright. Um, definitely want grudge. These two. Patched bombs are also pretty nice. I mean, it has tension with the Stony Silence, but I don't really care about this at this point, I think. Don't think Blood Moon is good enough, probably. So, what do we not want here? I mean, the Cuddle is probably better than Ooze. Because Ooze seems kind of slow. I think I like earlier because of the interactions with bomb and seal and even the two drops if need be. Actually, kind of like cutting some Nicardles because we're often gonna ratchet bomb for one, I think. And also ooze is like a bigger threat, I guess. So I guess I'll cut one ooze. And let's try it like this. And that looks like a decent hand. Going to keep that. There's a lot of stuff going on and some pressure. That's good. Not gonna use it right away. But gonna use it in response to an artifact. Like this one. Alright. It's fine. All right, I think I want to go Ratchet Bomb here. And activate it. Setting it up and next turn we we'll probably just go Knight or just Seal of Fire to prevent the plating hit. Second plating, interesting. All right, I think at this point we can just sort of not care. I think we're going to charge this up, then play this. And a seal. Now it doesn't really matter that our ratchet bomb is shut down. He has a way to kill Stony Silence, we have a way to kill the platings. So that's good. Alright, looking good. He has a bunch of useless junk. And we start pressuring him a bunch. That's not good enough. And thanks to Kasik, we can just trample over to make sure we finish this game fast enough. Should have probably like sealed his face or whatever. Rid of this.
And that should do it. That's game. Deck is performing admirably. All right. That was a pretty sweet showing of the deck against some of the most relevant archetypes right now. I'm gonna keep playing some more with the deck because it actually feels really nice. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you have any ideas regarding like minor tweaks, happy to discuss them. And see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.